This is a very standard NPN type transistor and it consists of three layers. The emitter which is heavily doped, the collector which is moderately doped and the base which is very thin and very lightly doped. So there is a depletion layer which forms here as we have studied in diodes and it is highly exaggerated here and there is an electric field around this depletion layer. In a standard NPN transistor, the strength of this electric field is about 0.6 volts. Now if we connect a battery across the NPN transistor, we see that nothing really happens. One may argue that this emitter is in a forward bias position and it should push the electrons and cause the flow of current. But we notice that the base here is not forward biased and therefore it is not helping in breaking this electric field here. On the other hand, this reverse bias is actually pulling the electrons and strengthening the electric field here and causing the depletion layer to widen. Now when the emitter is put in a forward bias position, things change. The electrons in the emitter push through the depletion layer and start to flow in the emitter base circuit. So notice that this is the flow of electrons and the direction of current flow will be put in the opposite direction. The base is lightly doped and therefore the current in the base emitter circuit is still small. The electrons from the emitter which have crossed the depletion layer and have reached the base get attracted to this positive electric field and break through this depletion layer. And this suddenly causes a large flow of current in the collector emitter circuit. This amplification of current is known as beta and this could have values like 20 or 200 and it's a property of the material, the NPN transistor. By Kirchhoff's law, current in the emitter is given as a sum of IB plus IC. We call this a common emitter circuit because the base is connected to the emitter and the collector is also connected to the emitter. We could similarly have a common base circuit like here. The base is connected to the emitter and the collector is also connected to the emitter. The electrical circuit diagrams with the transistors could be very different. So here we try and map what we have seen uh, to a circuit diagram. So here we have basically rotated this particular transistor. So we have the collector here, the base and then the emitter here. And this is the forward bias and this is the reverse bias. In electrical circuits, which we will see, we will also find input resistance and some output resistance along with the reverse bias and the forward bias.